Green activists in Malaysia are urging the government to stop the sale of forested lands to safeguard against climate change. Now, they say that the recent devastating floods that ravaged peninsular Malaysia is an urgent wake-up call. They're also calling for a 25-year moratorium on logging activities to allow forests to recover. Melissa Goh with this report. Angkor and Azroy belong to the indigenous Demuan community. For centuries, their ancestors have been living below the mountain ranges in Ululangat, outside Kuala Lumpur. Having seen their village ravaged by recent flash floods and landslides, they fear for the future and further loss of their ancestral land. Apabila orang masuk balak, tanah tu akan turun, semua dah tertimbus sini balik. Macam kita orang bawah ni jadi bangsa. Sedih lah. This sand dune in the center of the village used to be a football field. But the avalanche of rocks and timbers have destroyed the scenic waterfall and pristine river in Ululangat. Now this was once a campsite located right by a river in Ululangat. The tents were all swept away by gushing flood waters in December. Our villagers have retrieved some of them. For indigenous communities that bore the brunt of climate change, enough is enough. They want an immediate halt of all land clearing activities, including those for agricultural and recreational purposes. Kalau orang buat lah lagi kan atas sebab atas ni memang tempat suci ya orang kata macam sungai cantik bersih. Tapi sekarang dah lepas banjir saya tengok teruk. Their only water source from the mountain has also been affected. Azroy hopes that his village of about 200 Orang Asli will finally get running water supply. A quick check, though, showed pipes were installed, but they were never connected by the water company. Indeed, the recent flood disaster has highlighted the danger of climate crisis and plight of vulnerable indigenous groups. I think that if we continue to sell these forests and continue to have forests you know, into private hands, we're going to lock ourselves into a lot of future deforestation. Um, and this will bring many consequences to the climate, to biodiversity, to the provision of ecosystem services, and impacts on local communities, particularly indigenous peoples who might depend on forests for their livelihoods. According to a researcher at NGO, Rimba Disclosure Project, who wants to remain anonymous, more than 43,000 hectares of forested lands were put up for sale online last year. Many were said to be in gazetted areas, and some were described as virgin forests. While they urged the authorities, in particular the Forestry Department, to investigate and stop further sale of forested lands, some have taken their case to Parliament. Many urged the federal government to directly oversee all land matters in the country. Because forests are under state matter, whatever that the government is doing, is they are not looking at the roots of the problem. Until the federal change, the constitution changed uh, the act and uh, put a forest under federal government, then only we, maybe we can save the forest. A group of NGOs has sought royal intervention to stop all logging activity. <laughs> Eh, yang mewakili Sri Raja untuk membuat laporan polis atau menafikan isu ini supaya menjawab segala permasalahan ataupun isu-isu yang uh, terkait dengan mereka. Malaysia has pledged to maintain 50% of its land mass as forests with policies in place to protect them. But poor enforcement as well as illegal harvests and trading continue to remain a challenge. Malaysia Go, CNA, Ululangat, Selah.